Hey, what's going on guys? Jonathan, and if you know me and you've been keeping up with me, then you know I've pretty much left the Mac OS ecosystem. All of my video editing, photo work, and just writing scripts is done on this machine right here, which this is the Dell XPS 9570. But anyways, in this video, I wanna go over my five essential applications that I put on every Windows PC. As soon as I take it out of the box, these are the five pieces of software that I download pretty much instantaneously. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the video. So the very first piece of software I install on every PC, you know, this is probably the most important as well, is something from Bitdefender. It's called Total Security. Now the version I'm running now is Total Security 2019, but prior I had 2018, and way back before YouTube, I was actually using Bitdefender on all of my Windows computers, which is why when Bitdefender reached out to me and they wanted to, you know, help put together this video and sponsor it, I was like, yeah, I'm a huge supporter of their hardware, like the Bitdefender Box 2, and their software, like their security lineup so it just made sense we're also going to be holding a giveaway so we're going to be giving away two annual licenses to bitdefender total security 2019 all you have to do is make sure you're following me on instagram and on twitter i'm going to pick a winner from each platform in roughly about a week and you'll be given an annual pass or annual license to bitdefender 2019 so you can make sure all of your stuff is protected as well let me tell you a few things that are new in total security 2019 First and foremost, they have revamped the dashboard. It looks a lot better cosmetically. It's easier to navigate around and find what you're looking for. This is something I definitely appreciate. They've also added a few more layers of protection, such as network threat protection. In a nutshell, this is great protection for when you're on unsecure networks, such as the Starbucks down the road, or maybe it's hotel Wi-Fi. It's network-based adaptive layer protection. It's going to prevent against botnet attacks or exploitation of vulnerabilities in your system, or prevent sensitive of unencrypted data being transferred without your knowledge. It's great to have this layer of protection if you do a lot of travel. They've also introduced ransomware remediation, which is another major plus here for network-based protection. Ransomware remediation works like this. It identifies ransomware that is trying to encrypt files without your knowledge on your computer. It then goes to work by creating a backup of those targeted files. Then it blocks the ransomware and restores those files from the backup that it created pretty legit. The next new feature of Total Security 2019 is the built-in VPN, which I use this all the time. I travel a lot. I travel outside of the country and inside of the country, and I'm always on public unsecure Wi-Fi networks, and this basically scrambles my computer's connection to that network, making it nearly impossible for someone to identify my computer and get a hold of my personal information. Another thing I use all the time in Total Security 2019 is the built-in optimization tools to keep my computer running at peak performance. I use the one-click optimizer and the disk cleanup all the time to get rid of any unnecessary cache files or junk files from browsing the internet and keep my computer running at top peak performance. That way, whenever I'm doing video editing, I don't have my system bogged down, which is really, really important. Also, the one-click startup optimizer is great. If you have a lot of startup applications, you can see whether or not people are you know, disabling these or delaying these or just keeping them enabled. So you can look at what the community is doing and then base you know, your actions around what other people are doing to find out if you're making the right decision. I know that was a ton of information, but I wanted to express to you how important and vital having this software on my computer is. All of my money that I personally make is generated from this computer. Number two on the list is Throttle Stop. Throttle Stop does exactly as the name implies. It's going to help stop your computer from thermal throttling. This is very important to me because I have the Dell XPS 9570 with the i9 version, and we all know the i9 is prone to thermal throttling the macbook pros the new ones are definitely an example of this and so is this computer so this software helps with that and if you combine that with like repasting or applying liquid metal you're going to get some insane results and basically it's going to eliminate that thermal throttling from occurring and overall boosting performance that performance is definitely a major plus when you're video editing because it's going to speed up render times and export times and something that i am definitely using on a daily basis and i'm going to continue using throttle stop moving forward on every PC. It's just a shame that there's not like a Mac equivalent application or piece of software that does the same thing. Maybe there is and I just don't know. If there is and you know about it, leave it down below in the comment section.
information. I'm sure other people want to know about it. Number three on the list is Mailbird. And Mailbird is my email client of choice. Pretty much tried every email client out there possible for Windows, including like Inky and Postbox and Outlook, all that good stuff. And I always go back to Mailbird just because I feel like it's the most feature rich and best bang for your buck email client on Windows, at least currently. One thing I do miss about Mac is the amount of premium email clients there were to choose such as Spark and there's a few others and they just look great, they function great. And I feel like that is really lacking on the Windows side. Outlook is great, but you can't do, you know, dual or two-way syncing with internet calendars such as your Gmail calendar. And that's where I think Mailbird really stepped it up and they allow that so you can make a change in the Mailbird client app and then it will transfer over to your Google Calendar. There's a lot more that you can do with Mailbird, such as if you're a Hangouts user, you can chat right inside the Mailbird application. No need to go to the website. You also have Google Drive support. The way it handles emails is great. And overall, I just think it's the best value. I think I paid 50 bucks for a lifetime subscription, which is totally worth it, especially if you're planning on using Windows for you know a long time. Number four on the list is Snagit. Snagit is a screen capturing software that is cross-platform. So you can use it on Mac or you can use it on Windows. You could take a still image or you can do a screen recording. You have a built-in editor so you can apply like arrows or circles or different shapes. You can crop in, crop out, do zooms, whatever you want to do. You can do it right from the Snagit application. It has a ton of features, especially for the price point. I think I paid less than a hundred bucks. I got like 20% off. They're always running deals. Make sure to check it out. It's a great alternative to ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow is a little bit more polished and better looking, but um, I think in terms of functionality that Snagit has ScreenFlow beat. Number five on the list is Send Anywhere. One thing I loved about my Mac OS and iOS Unity was AirDrop. I really wish Windows had like a native function that did the same but it doesn't. So I got to use Send Anywhere, which is cross-platform and it works kind of the same. It's not as seamless, definitely not as pretty and definitely not as flawless. Um, and it also caps you out at 10 megabytes per month if you are on the free version. They do offer a subscription service, which I'm thinking about getting because I've already been capped out several times. But um, basically it creates a Wi-Fi network within your computer. You can join that network using your phone and then just start sending files. So you don't have to have a Wi-Fi connection or you don't have to be on the same Wi-Fi network, which is great. It also broadcasts like a QR code if you wanna go that route instead of doing the Wi-Fi direct connection. That was my five essential Windows applications that I install on every PC and future PCs. If you guys have your own five essential applications, let me know down below in a comment or hit me up on social. I love hearing back from you guys and it's definitely a way to spark a conversation. If you want me to do a follow-up video because obviously these aren't the only apps that I have on my machine and whenever I get a new machine I just start downloading like crazy. I don't mind doing a follow-up video on my you know video audio or photo editing applications or the little stragglers here and there that I never got a chance to mention. Let me know by a comment or better yet if you don't feel like typing because I've asked you to type a lot in this video smash that thumbs up button and I will definitely get to a follow-up video. If you want a chance to win Bit Defenders Total Security 2019, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. I will be picking a winner in roughly about a week, so make sure you do that. Huge shout out to Bit Defender for making this video possible and for giving me a chance to give back to you guys because that always feels good. Make sure you subscribe for future content. I have some really awesome stuff planned for the Note 9 and some more upcoming devices. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. And I just leave them on the limb and hand them up in this is rappers of walking that I already killed them. Skin blanco, lyrical weapon kicking like a bronco, head honcho, spherical presence came from the grotto, a dead rapper, rappers.